Hey y'all, Keto Diamond here. Today is day 995 of my keto journey. I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday and uh, I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in and some good news and some bad news and some wonky news and some crazy stuff. Anyway, don't forget to like if you like my video, subscribe if you're new here, ring the bell and share if you super, super love me. So, let's go ahead and rant, rave, and misbehave because boy do I got some ranting and raving and misbehaving to do. Three, two, one. Okay, so I'm breaking a 15 hour fast at 11.30 a.m. because I'm gonna be in the car for the next six hours and I don't wanna like be hungry and all that. Um, but anyway, I've got three eggs fried in butter with two slices of cheese, uh, a serving of organic ketchup, and all together, there's probably six slices of bacon. I made a bunch for me and my grandsons, so I'm not real sure how many slices I got. Papa is feeding Anthony his eggs in organic ketchup. Ain't that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it is 8.30 in the evening. I'm finally having dinner. Uh, 100 grams of beef, cheese, one piece of cheese, a little bit of organic ketchup, mayonnaise, and lettuce. Hey guys, so I had some chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, about half a serving. I'm going to have to get another one of these because it's good. I'm having a tiny salad, just lettuce, cheese, and um, Tessame's olive oil. So what's it called? Olive, yeah. Italian dressing. It tastes more like vinegar. <laughs> Calories and macros per my Fitness Pal website: 1,388 calories, 19 grams of carbohydrates, 118 grams of fat, 75 grams of protein. I just kind of noticed something funny, but I thought I would first take a second to admire my legs. <laughs> they look so much different than they used to look. But uh, uh, ugly feet—they don't count. But yeah, check that out. A lot of space in between them legs. That is awesome. But. Look how wide my leg gets. <laughs> a lot of loose meat there, folks. Um, loose fat. But eventually it'll be gone. I just, I kind of amused myself playing with my legs while I go and put my leg down. I was like, oh my God. Oh my. That is a big old different trach under. <laughs> Some interesting news. In the county we go to, we actually live in Rowan, but we never go into Rowan. We go into Davie. Um, in the, and our grandson even goes to school in Davie County. So, in the county we go to all the time, they had 22, rep 22 reported cases, two deaths. All but one person has recovered so far. So, we literally only have one active case in the county we go to all the time. And that is a, a nice peace of mind. It really is. The county that we actually live in, that, but we don't go to any of the stores or go that way at all. Um, because we live on the county line and the other place is just safer, cleaner, you know, just a much better place to be in. So, the other county, though, has jumped up to 204 cases. I don't know how many are active. But, um, they're still climbing and they're, they're still having deaths and stuff. And... Funny enough, the, the, the little county we live in has more um, people infected than the massive city we used to live in, which was Greensboro. So that's crazy to me, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, guys and dolls, so first and foremost, I want to go ahead and thank Deborah and Teresa, who are Patreon and PayPal contributors. I really appreciate it, ladies. It means the world. It really, really does. The hits just keep on coming, so here's a good thank you. As a special thank you to my Patreons, um, I shoot a lot of video and a lot of clips do not make the cut, do not make it on YouTube. I know it seems like I don't take anything out, but some things I'm not sure is appropriate and some things I'm just not sure I want to put out there to the general public. Um, so I'm going to start putting all the cutting room floor stuff over onto my Patreon as a special thank you and I hope it's good because sometimes I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> sometimes there's great jokes that uh, I tell in the first video that I don't, I don't mention in the, you know, the second, third time around. So anyway, some, some of it's just not really appropriate for general public YouTube. But anyway, they're going on Patreon and I thought that would be a nice way to say thank you to those special people. I appreciate it. I really, really do. Oh, goodness, y'all. So yesterday was a hell of a day. Let me tell you. Uh, I'm sitting at Wendy's right now. I hope y'all don't mind, but I just had to chill for a few minutes because that last video took it out of me. I, I had to, like I said, I just like, mm -mm. but yes, dad took husband to, my husband to the oral surgeon. He had uh, some teeth removed down here. 
Uh, I sat in the car for five hours because I couldn't go in with him. It's a one hour drive there, one hour drive back. Plus, I had to get his medication and everything. I got him home, got him settled, got his pain medicine in him. And within two hours, I had to call 911 and get the paramedics out there. Now, I just told the entire story. I did my husband's vlog for him as an update. I'm going to let y'all go over there and check that out. It's on Mr. Katie's Keto and Fitness. The link's in the description below. I don't want to be too repetitive here, but, you know, if you're interested in what happened to hubby yesterday, it's over there. Uh, and there's a little story about what happened to me, something similar at one time in my life. <sighs> Guys, it was a hell of a cortisol sh uh, shock. I haven't been so scared in such a while. Um, it, it definitely, definitely played a part in yesterday and the factors. I'll get to that in a minute. Sitting in the car for five hours definitely played a part. So let me just go ahead and share with you my weight loss results for the day. This way in. One sixty-five point six. Hmm. There you have it. I didn't do anything wrong food-wise yesterday. Nothing I don't normally do or haven't been doing over the last seven or eight days. So uh, it definitely has to be the cortisol or the uh, you know the, the spike of stress or the uh, which can raise, raise insulin by the way and kick you out of ketosis. Period. I'm not sure that I was kicked. Didn't feel good. Did take four Tylenol, which could have something to do with the weight too. So I I put on put back on zero point eight. It's just water weight. It'll come off in a few days. Um, it's not really a big deal, but I didn't do anything wrong yesterday, so I was hoping to go down again or get a new low. Nah, well, you know, it is what it is. But, I mean, I only went up 0 0.8, so it's not too bad. And uh, for, from a new low, you're going to fluctuate anyway. For those of you who freak out when you step on the scale sometimes, it's just data. It's not that important. It, it, it's, what's more important is how you feel, how your body feels. The fact that you're going to have to do what I'm getting ready to do. See, I'm out getting some essentials. I got to get a few things for the house. And I got to get my husband some softer foods. Because all I got is mashed potatoes. He's getting tired of the mashed potatoes. So I got to find something along that line um, that he can eat. Or would want to eat. Working on that. But I went through all my, my clothes. I got rid of all my, well, I put all my winter clothes in um, bags and boxes in the building. And uh, realized I don't have no damn clothes. I got like three pair of shorts, and they're two sizes too big, and uh, I wear them to sleep in. They they get on my nerves because they, they move around when I turn, so I'm going to have to see if I can't find me a couple cheap pair of shorts. I ain't trying to spend a whole lot of money right now because while it's a weight loss victory, if I'm still losing weight, spending a lot of money on clothes is kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean... I would love to go out and buy myself a pretty new wardrobe and look sexy and stunning and all this good stuff, but what good is it if they ain't going to fit in a couple weeks or a couple months, you know? So I mean, the, the more important thing is how you feel, it is the fact that your clothes are getting too big or that you ain't got none from last year you can wear. So I've got to go in, i got to see if I can't find just a couple pair, maybe some undies. Those are getting a little sketchy too big too. For those of you who missed it, here's a funny story. Ambulance. We're close to the highway, so that's pretty much where they always go from here. But, um, funny story. And I actually did this on a weight loss vlog, but it's been a year or two ago. My husband likes to buy leather seats. Well, he likes his cars with leather seats. And my shorts and underwear had gotten too big, too big, too baggy. I slid myself right into the car. My shorts and underwear slid to the side. And that hot black leather seat burnt my hoo-ha. I'm not joking. I got a blister. I was not happy. It was miserable for about a week. Um, yeah, I hurt myself pretty good doing that. I could have cried. I did cry, actually, but um, yeah. So I thought I would share that story with you. It's a word of a wise word of the caution since it's getting summertime and these black leather seats are heating up. If your pants and panties are too big, put a towel down first. Put your towel down. I ain't kidding. There's a towel in this seat over here right now. I'm getting ready to go drop this thingy off. It is that heart monitor I had to wear for 30 days. Hopefully the UPS store is open. I really don't know if they are or not. So essential things that I just don't have a choice but to do. I stopped by Wendy's. Y'all hear about that tomorrow. But I decided not to get my husband like like eat something more solid in front of my hubby. So it doesn't kind of like upset him. It shouldn't. But you know I don't want him to be like I want that. And he can't have it right now. So um, I just went ahead and got two Junior Bacons. 
All right, y'all. I'm going to head to Wally World. I'm going to get this crap done. I done got some disappointing news today. Lucky, luckily, hubby felt good enough today to come out and help me because I came out and got in this car, cranked it up, battery dead. So I moved my blazer over close to it, got the jumper cables, and, and my husband come out and popped this hood because I can't figure out what the hood latch is in this one. Uh, my old Chevrolets, I understand, I get perfectly because I have to raise the hood in them frequently. But usually to jump this off, though, oddly enough, that's usually what it's for. I don't know if I left something on or not, but I'm sitting here in the parking lot intentionally letting it run just to make sure, like when I cut it off at Walmart, it'll cut back on. I got the jumpers with me, but just in case. So, um, I got to tell y'all, he checks my oil in my blazer and he says, well, I think I know where your water's going. Yeehaw, blowed head gasket, sure enough, most likely. Anyway, got to have my dad check it, but. I can't keep oil in it. They can't find the leak. I can't keep water in it. They can't find the leak. And my oil looks a little bit too milky. Y'all know what I mean. Fabulous. For those of you who don't know, I've got a truck too that I threw a rod in not too long ago. So now I don't have a personal vehicle. Hubby does. If he's off work, I can use it. I've got my dad's truck that he's going to let me pretty much have, but I got to buy a tire for it. And it's one of them big, huge pickup trucks, not one of them little tiny things. Mm -mm. These got them big old tires that cost two, three hundred dollars on them, and you can't get them used. Really, it's not a smart idea. So, fan daggone tastic. It's one of them pickup trucks you got to climb up in. Now I don't mind that, especially right now with the gas being low. But when it's three dollars a gallon, that truck don't go for it all. <laughs> Plus, this radio drives me damn nuts. Uh, my dad, instead of pulling out the original radio and replacing it, he stuck one to the bottom, and it don't work right. And it, it works when it wants to. It it, just, it only plays oldies. I don't get it. But it, it that's like the only station that'll come in on it. I don't know if he's got a hook to this. What I don't I just it aggravates the hell out of me. So I'm gonna have to have that changed. <sighs> got one in my truck though. God knows it ain't getting used. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop complaining now. I'm just, I'm frustrated. When one thing happens, another thing happens. You don't ever feel like you're getting ahead. Even though you're working. You know what, though? I'm complaining. But, keep pushing towards your goals. They might seem a million miles away. It might seem like you have 200 pounds to lose. And even though you're losing, it's not fast enough and you feel like it'll never happen. Keep pushing. It will happen. I, trust me. I've got uh, about 53 more that I want to get off. Um, but I've already lost 146 or 7 of them. I forgot to count again. But I, I've already lost a lot of them, you know. And, and yeah, it's took over two and a half years. But it's still happening. Still constantly take steps towards your goal. I don't care what it is. Take steps, even if it's just baby steps. Even if you can only move a little bit, move a little bit. If you can run a mile, you run that mile. But if you can't, slow down and get there when you get there. <sighs> That's my word of the wise for the day. I might throw some other clips in here somewhere because I don't think this is going to be very long. But anyway, it might be plenty long. Y'all know how I love to talk around my mouth. Let's get this Walmart trip up and out of the way. I'll be posting something over on Patreon too in a little while because like I said, I recorded something that didn't work out too well. <sighs> if you need my help, contact me. Oh, if you'd like to get a great keto t-shirt with a slogan on it that I designed, check the Teespring link below. Much love to you guys and dolls. Bye y'all.